In this video I'm going to show you how to install the Sonic Mod Manager, where to find the mods, how to install the mods, and then I'll showcase the mod we installed together today in this tutorial. Before I do that though, I'm going to be showcasing some physics mods before and after, so uh, if you want to skip that, check out the timestamp. Alright, we're going to start off by showing the mod. Here we got Sonic keeping his momentum after each jump and spin dash, which Looks really cool to be honest. Not even boosting. You only have to tap boosts if you want to speed up real fast. There. Consistent speed. Very nice, very nice. Here we are without the mods. As you can tell, I'm slowing down a lot. Doesn't seem as fast. If you look at the speedometer, it just looks crazy. It's dancing around all over the place. Here we are going on uh, slopes, up inclines. He gains a bit of momentum going down, which is actually really nice. We aren't using the boost that much. You can already tell, full speed going down this hill without boost. Look at that. Also with the light dash. Momentum, just a bit of momentum is added. It's almost like a little boost too. Here we are without mods. See, we can. We don't even see the speed go up that much when we go down a little slope, so. Alright, now I'll be showing you the super easy way to mod Sonic Frontiers on your PC. Also, bonus! Stay until the end of the video and I'll show you how it works with Remote Play and your Steam Deck. You'll need good internet for that part, but if you like rem Remote Play and have a Steam Deck, I'll show you how it works. Alright, first things first, you want to be at GitHub. Links are provided in the description. You've probably seen this website if you download mods or other scripts, but anyway, you want to find the latest version over here, and you want to go find that .exe, download that, and just send it to your downloads folder. There you go, right there. You'll see it in this folder, and you can just open it up like that. You can trust this, so just show more. Run anyway. There we go. This is what it looks like. I already installed it, of course, so. Yeah, those are all the mods I have, and I'm gonna show you where to find those mods and how to put them in here. Again, links will be provided to the website, but this is what Game Banana looks like. Usually I sort it by most downloaded and most liked to find, you know, mods other people tried. See what they said on them, but this is the page. You'll find the most popular things going on today. And today we're going to be checking out this mod. Make sure you read everything on the mod. You don't want to get super excited about a mod and have it end up not working. Sometimes mods just don't work or you need other mods to make a mod work and yeah. But click manual download. Uh, I recommend this better just because Hedge Mod Manager one click install doesn't always work. And this is just an easy method either way. It'll install right there. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it just because I already installed the mod. But it will be a zip file and you are going to want to extract that zip file and put it into your downloads folder. And yeah, it'll just look like that folder that's in there right now. And here we go. Just add mod by file. 
find where you extracted it. Just a regular file. Remember, no zip file, just regular file. You just select folder and that will go in. Oh, it's going to refresh since I already have it, but yeah, this is what happens when you add a new mod. There it is. You can check all the settings depending on the mod. Can change different things. Can be pretty cool to look at sometimes. Another very important thing to remember is the mod load order. You want it in a specific order if you want the mods working correctly. You can just find that out by reading the mods descriptions. So that's why it's important to read that. But let's try this mod out. After clicking save and play, you will get the mod. You will always click save and play to play your mods. You will run it from hedge mod manager. You can have Steam open, but the game will open through Hedge Mod Manager. Alrighty, Silver the Hedgehog. And he also has soap shoes, nice. Alright, I'm gonna go over a few things before I get to the Steam Deck part of it. So, with modding, some precautions. If you're going in the story mode, uh, maybe already saved game, you have 20 hours on save. You want to add some mods and start playing the story. Might break the story, might corrupt the save, so just keep that in mind. I would recommend making a backup save file, or even just making a new game and playing mods on a new game. Just because a lot of these, a lot of these levels in this game and just the world design in general can't compensate these gameplay overhaul mods. Physics, for example. Like when you go into cyberspace, some of those levels can be really hard when you have a lot of momentum. Personally, I don't really use mods on story mode. I've, I've used some momentum mods on story mode, playing cyberspace and all that. Haven't really seen any problems there. There are some parts in cyberspace that don't work as well because of momentum, but personally, I've been fine with the momentum mods. I haven't played with any different skin mods or anything like that, so I'm not sure with the cutscenes. Either way, if you read the descriptions and the mods, they will tell you what it's compatible with, how they work. It will just tell you everything you need to know most of the time. But anyway, let's get to the Steam Deck Remote Play part. I haven't been able to figure out a really good way to just get hedge mod hedge mod manager running on steam deck by itself without it taking up a whole lot of power personally i just like having the mod just in general i just like having the mods on my pc and then i don't mind remote playing from my steam deck to my pc but it works and i will show you right now alrighty so we got the mod loaded up, we already got the game on, running through Hedge Mod Manager. It should just pop up like Remote Play on your Steam Deck if you already have Remote Play enabled. And you just click connect and you should connect like that and then there you go. If you have good internet, you got a really nice stream running through your Steam Deck. And you can just start playing modded games. And you could do this with most other games as well. But yeah, there it is. And you could put as many mods as you want without like ruining your uh, Steam Deck CPU. So nice. Good for you. Good for you.